Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and in this video we are going to compare the HW8 Ultra Max and the H11 Ultra. Both of them are one of the most similar looking Apple Watch Ultra clones and in this video we are going to compare both of them. Before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button. So in both of the smartwatches we get the ocean straps, wireless charger and user manual. And if you look at the size both of the smartwatches come in 49mm size while the dimensions are different. HW8 Ultra Max is in 49 into 43.5 into 12.5mm while H11 Ultra is in 49 into 43 into 13.8 mm. So both of the smart watches have the additional holes on the right side as well as on the left side and holes on both of the smart watches are open. Both smart watches also come with the strap locks while the screws on the back side are real on these on the H11 Ultra while on the HW8 Ultra Max it's just a design. Both of the smart watches can be used while washing hands or in rain but they are not recommended to be used while taking bath or swimming. HW8 Ultra Max has 128 MB memory while H11 Ultra has 256 MB memory. HW8 Ultra Max has 2.05 inches display with 520 into 580 resolution and here is the bezel size. These are the thinnest bezels I've seen so far on an Apple Watch Ultra clone. H11 Ultra comes with 1.91 inches of display with 425 into 518 resolution and here is the bezel size which is quite thick. The metal case on both of the smartwatches have a thick border on the front just like the Apple Watch Ultra but the size is more similar to the H11 Ultra on AW8 Ultra Max it is thicker than the Apple Watch Ultra. The action button on the AW Ultra Max can be customized while on H11 Ultra it cannot be customized. So let's check out the watch faces on the AW8 Ultra Max and now let's check out all of the watch faces on the H11 Ultra. The watch faces on both of the applications are interactive and you can access the applications which are shown on the watch face. Some of the watch faces are themed on both of the smart watches and can change colors when you tap on them. There are four menu styles in the HW8 Ultra Max. There are two menu styles in the H11 Ultra. The interface is quite smooth on both of the smart watches. H11 Ultra comes with the icons which are quite similar to the watch OS while the HW8 Ultra Max has its own theme. But I still think that HW8 Ultra Max is the smoothest so let's do a test. They're quite similar but HW8 Ultra Max transitions the corner icons into smaller size more smoothly as compared to the H11 Ultra. H11 Ultra also has a complete calendar application. Both of the smartwatches don't have the torch option. Both of the smartwatches support NFC. HW8 Ultra Max can receive notifications from specific applications only while the H11 Ultra can receive notifications from almost all applications in your smartphone. HW8 Ultra Max comes with one screen of dial which is this analog clock. It can stay on for a maximum of 10 minutes. There are two screen of dials in the H11 Ultra, one with the digital clock and the second one with the analog clock. The screen of dial on the H11 Ultra can stay on for a maximum of 1 minute. The normal screen time on the HW8 Ultra Max can be a maximum of 30 seconds while the H11 Ultra has the always on display option which means the display will never go off and it will only turn off when the battery dies. HW8 Ultra Max doesn't have the tap to wake option and you will have to use a key to turn on the display. H11 Ultra does have tap to wake but it only works for a few seconds when the screen of dial turns on or the screen goes off. Both of them have the bedside clock mode and whenever you put your device on the charger it turns on this always on display with clock on it. H11 Ultra also has the app history option while the HW8 Ultra Max doesn't have it. So let me show you all of the languages supported by them. HW8 Ultra Max comes with heart rate checker, blood pressure checker, blood oxygen level checker and temperature checker and with the Wear Fit Pro application you can also install breathe rate checker and blood sugar trends. H11 Ultra only comes with the heart rate checker, blood oxygen level checker and body temperature checker. And both of the smartwatches does measure the data on the table so I'm not really sure if the sensors are real or not. Both of the smartwatches can add alarms directly in the smartwatch without having to use the watch application and you cannot set separate ringtones on both of the smartwatches for the call messages and alarms both of the smartwatches have a speaker and a microphone and you can connect bluetooth calling to use both of them for dialing and receiving calls directly on the smartwatches you can speak directly using the microphone on the smartwatches and you can hear the voice of the person on the speaker of the smartwatch both of the smartwatches also have the voice assistant option which can be used by connecting the bluetooth calling hw8 ultra max come with 200 mAh of battery and on normal usage it can give you three days and on standby it can give you up to five days the h11 ultra comes with four 
450 mAh of battery as advertised and can give you 7 days on normal usage and 15 days on standby. So let's compare the maximum brightness. The HW8 Ultra Max seems a little bit more brighter as compared to the H11 Ultra but still both of them have a really bright display and the display will be clearly visible if used in daylight. So now it's time to compare the smoothness. First of all let's try it in the honeycomb menu style. I still feel like that the HW8 Ultra Max has a smoother display and the transitioning of the icons is smoother on the HW8 Ultra Max. Let me know about your opinion in the comment section below. Let's try scrolling. The scrolling is faster on the H11 Ultra but seems to be more smoother on the HW8 Ultra Max. So it's time to decide a winner. The HW8 Ultra Max has more sensors but if you talk about the overall look, the H11 Ultra looks more similar to the Apple Watch Ultra. Although the bezels are thicker on the H11 Ultra, the HW Ultra Max has a smoother display as compared to the H11 Ultra. The H11 Ultra also comes with the calendar application, the always on display option and the icons are also more similar to the Apple Watch OS. Considering that the sensors might be fake in both of them. I would say that the H11 Ultra is a better smartwatch as compared to the HW8 Ultra Max and also an important point that I missed is that it has a bigger battery. So which one would you choose? Let me know about it in the comment section below. You can find the full review links of both of the smartwatches in the description box below. You can also check out my best Apple Watch Series 6, 7, 8 and Ultra replicas playlist. I'm gonna be linking it in the description box below. So which smartwatches should I compare next? Let me know about it in the comment section below. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time. This is I Matt. Peace out.